another week, another uh, b- uh, baby video. <laughs> uh, Bar- <laughs> Barrow Key is back, guys. Welcome and to another Warframe video. My name is MCIK or CJ, and today we're going to be talking about the new items that he brought for us this week's uh, Void Trader visit. And we'll see if they're good, they're bad. I'll give you guys my two cents on them. You guys know how this fucking shit works. It's pretty, uh, um, I'm tired. Honestly, I'm, I'm honestly tired of this shit. But you guys asked for this, so I will keep on doing this. Anyway, right now he's over on the Saturn Relay, the Chronia Relay. So if you guys are on PC, head over there right now while he's still there for a couple days and get these new items. Or, or don't. They might be complete shit. We'll fucking find out. Just so you guys know, this is going to be for PC only. Xbox One and PS4 users will get different uh, items. I will not be covering those. You can watch some Neo Neth. The last few visits we had, they the items were all right. Um, I, I'm hoping we get something better. We've been getting things that we've seen before. I, I want to see something new, something fresh, something that really adds something like maybe a new prism weapon. Something new. They just keep rehashing the same stuff. All right, you guys know how this works. We go over to the trading kiosk right here. You give your prime shit, preferably things that are not uh, rare, and you just sell that, and you get ducats, and uh, fuck you. Once you guys get your ducats, you go over to the Void Trader himself, and yeah, this is where you can buy the shit. What up, bro? Looking pretty hot there. You mind sticking one of those fingers up my rectum? All right, so starting off the list, we have the Sands of Inaros Blueprint. This is going to be the quest for Inaros. It'll be 100 ducats if you guys want it. It's a great quest. Inaros is a great frame, and so is the uh, the quest for him. If you guys haven't done it, I recommend you guys do it. It's a lot of fun. A little bit repetitive, but it is enjoyable nonetheless. It's definitely worth 100 ducats, so if you guys have it, go for it. Next two down the list are going to be armor plates. These are beautiful armor plates if you guys don't have these. These are the uh, Prisma version of the Daedalus knee plates. Um, but they're only 65 ducats. If you guys don't have these, get these. That is a definite. They're great cosmetics. They look beautiful on certain frames bulkier ones like Rhino and Frost so yeah they have a little Prisma effect as well 65 ducats you can't go wrong with that so yeah I'd say definitely pick that up the next two are for Sentinels these are gonna be the Prisma Sentinel uh, cosmetics they're not that good and they are high priced with ducats I wouldn't personally recommend you guys get these they're 300 ducats uh, and this one's 200 ducats it's just adds a tail and wings if you guys don't have any attachments for your Sentinels then I would say yeah get them if you really need them and if you don't really like spending platinum for attachments. Otherwise, I would say spend your ducats on other things like uh, maybe these mods. Speaking of mods, we have four mods. And uh, for this week's mods, it's going to be the slash mods. Uh, for, you know, the melee, rifle, uh, shotgun, and uh, secondary. So, these are going to be Fanged Fusillade, Sweeping Zeration, Buzzkill, and Maim. It's pretty easy. They add 120% slash damage to each of these selected weapon types. And yeah, if you guys want to have these, I would recommend you guys get these. There's 375 ducats and well worth the buy. Personally, I use Fanged Fusillade on the Dread. It adds a lot of slash damage. And yeah, slash weapons are amazing for Infested. So if you really love taking out Infested, this would be a great mod to add to your arsenal. The next one down the list is going to be a new one that we have not seen yet. It's new, but at the same time, it's kind of useless. I mean... Unless you really want to be swagged out and critique shit, but I, I really couldn't give two fuck. Okay, so what it does is it basically adds the Sugatra down at the bottom of your any melee you have right here. It's right there. Um, it's a small detail. If you guys like the small details, then go for it. It's 250 ducats. It's a lot for a small thing on the bottom of your melee. But, like I said, if you really want all the tier shit, then fucking get it. Next three down the list are going to be beacons. These are awesome things to have and to use with a bunch of people in your squad. Um, if you're wanting to either get maybe the Brack from the Grush Truck 3, the Detron from the Zanuka Hunter, or any weapon that the Stalker drops, these are great ways to farm those weapons. Basically, what this does is you put one of these in your gear slots when you buy these. And by the way, these are one-time uses, so make sure you guys, you know, get the one you want and use it with a bunch of friends because you can only use them once. And they are each 200 ducats and 125,000 credits. So yeah, when you use it once, it'll spawn in one of these selected enemies into your mission instantaneously. And yeah, so like I said, if you want to do a farm for the war, and yeah, I would say get a bunch of friends with a stalker beacon and you guys all use it and you have a higher chance of getting the war. So, you know, you can start scrapping away all those extra dreads. Last but not least is another new mod. This is going to be a primed, brand new primed mod actually. It's primed regen. It's for the sentinels. Um, I haven't seen this yet. I haven't taken a look at this yet. This is new. So at max rank, it says basically how this works. Regen is, you know, you, you, when your sentinel dies, it has a chance to respawn with its health back. So with the prime version, when the sentinel dies, it can regenerate up to three times um, and also with 100% max health. So this can be really helpful if you have a good build for a sentinel, if you have form on your sentinel. But I, I, I wouldn't recommend this. But I mean, the normal regen works just fine if you really need this. 
Go for it. It's 300 ducats. I would not fucking recommend this. Yeah, granted, you can regenerate up to three times, which is nice. It's a good addition, but um, I, I don't think it's worth the prime mod. It also takes up 14 mods capacity. So just stick with the original regen. I think you'll be just you'll be just fine. Anyway, yeah, guys, those are all the items that bitch baby borrow has brought. Uh, uh, watch out for more dank videos coming down the pipeline in the near future and uh, yeah leave a like for baby uh, every single like you smash one baby borrows face into a curb uh, thank you for watching uh, see ya <laughs>